Yeah. Well, well, not only that, when we when we when we shift out of it, when we become disarmed. Miraculously, it has an effect, a kind of a, a dharmic effect on the other person that they also relax, that they, it disarms them. We don't have to do anything to convince them. It, it kind of, it, it can. I mean, we have to respect the, uh, there's a certain karmic momentum that's, you know, from all these, in my case, 53 years of, of defending the self. It doesn't turn mm. off like that, but I can become aware mm. of it. And miraculously, when, when one disarms, the other one, you know, as the karmic momentum come settles down, the other will become disarmed, and then we're back in this quote of Einstein, you know, uh, the, the, mm. the, the conflict can't be resolved from that same level of thinking that created it, but when one dissolves and the other dissolves, disarms, then something completely shifts. Uh, absolutely, um, because you've shifted into another mode, yeah. you've shifted into awareness mode, and yes. into tolerance mode, and into allowing mode, and into wisdom mode, yeah. and um, the self then has less control, less room, and, uh, and you're not in automatic anymore. Yeah. At that point, not only does it have an effect on the other person, but actually you can begin to see the other person with new eyes. So uh, with compassion, for example, to the partner or the person that's shouting at you, you can look and see you know, the way they really are. You can understand things a bit differently. Right. Um, you know, there's a famous Tibetan story that I can quickly, yeah, uh, uh, I can quickly uh, relate about um, two guys going into the market, um, and one of them got hit uh, on the on uh, got hit with a stick from someone in 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 the crowd, and he began to shout at the stick, and his friend said, "Why are you shouting at the stick? It's a bit stupid. Shout at the hand." That hold the stick because <laughs> it's not the stick that's actually it's not it's not oh it's the, the hand yeah it's right hand. Yeah. <laughs> so he started to shout at the hand and then his friend said well maybe you shout at the arm you know that's holding the hand said, oh yeah it's more sensible so he started to shout at the arm and then you know and then and then he said well you know there's a person behind that arm right maybe you shout at the person who's holding whose arm it is that's mm. holding the stick he said yeah of course of course that's right yes so he started to shout at the person and then his friend said well look you know, the person is the result. Or the, maybe the person didn't have any breakfast. Maybe it's, he was it's miserable. Not, it's maybe not his it's, fault. <laughs> it's, it's a, thousand, de, a thousand causes that made this person so exactly. upset and angry. You should be shouting at the causes that made that person hit you with a stick. Right. And, the, and, the, and his friend said, yes, of course. And then, oh, but wait a minute. But the causes of the whole universe. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> so right. that takes the sting out of conflict, the personal out of conflict. So when you see the causes of conflict in somebody else, you see their pain and their fear or their irritation or their limitation um, and their automatic behaviors or thoughts, patterns, uh, then the whole thing can shift and you can actually then work together to solve solve the problem and we right. do we, we did a lot of that in the in the piece work a lot yeah. of that kind of work 